Hey guys, what is up? Long time no see. Um, just want to make a quick update for the channel so you guys know what is going on with the channel, um, community stuff, whatnot. Um, first thing I really want to touch on is we hit a huge milestone uh, basically like two weeks ago. Um, we hit 500 subs on YouTube, which is absolutely phenomenal. And I cannot thank you guys enough for that. That is pretty big for me. That is like a milestone. Like that's the that's the next milestone after 100 subs. 100 subs. I didn't really make a video for it because um, I was kind of all caught up in the tournament stuff. I didn't really you know think about it or reflect back on it. But 500 subs is no small task. Um, I'm really happy. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support so far. And you know it, it's growing every day. Like bringing su new subs every day, and it's really just amazing to see that you guys are you know spreading love. New people welcome to the channel. And, uh, you know, I'm glad to have you guys here. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Um, next topic, uh, CCD3. I know we, well, not we, but, um, we were supposed to cover it on this channel somewhat, um, if not the majority of it, but that did kind of fall through. Um, some of you have heard what happened, and basically, uh, well, first of all, thank you for the support. <laughs> um, it, it's really been astronomical, the amount of support you guys have shown. It's been really it, it, uh, it like when you go channel you don't always look at people that you bring into the channel but you guys definitely you know have hearts and you guys you know showed your support the messages i've gotten from you guys have been just really heartfelt and uh you know i'm glad you guys you know are waiting for me to start up again and uh hopefully next tournament i'll be around for it um i i will say i have to go do something in a few months um, so hopefully the tournament can be all finished up in a few months. Um, I'm not going to say what month I have to leave in, but yeah, there is something I have to go do and I'm pretty excited for it. Hopefully the next tournament, you know, once again is wrapped up and concluded by that time. Um, but yeah, CCD3 not being covered on the channel. I know if they're going according to schedule at this point, they should be close to the end of it. So they should be, I believe was this November 20th. So they should be in the semi-finals, I think, this weekend. This weekend should be the semi-finals, if I'm not mistaken. And then next weekend, if they go according to plan, they should be all finished by December. So sometime next week will be the finals, uh, probably during the weekend, I would assume. That's when a lot of matches you get played. I haven't been keeping up with the tournament. Um, if you guys have, go over to leftofnation.com, and you guys could probably find links to where things will be matched, or where things are being posted, and all that good stuff. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about CTT3. Um, yeah, let's go check out Left if you want some uh, information on that. Um, yeah, we have all the graphics made and whatnot. Unfortunately, now we got put to use. I feel kind of bad for Xeon and everyone who helped make this stuff. Um, by the way, I should add, here, let me take off this really fast. The background here is actually made by uh, Gubermensch. He's a YouTube uh, SFM maker. Really nice guy. He allowed a lot of... Uh, streamers and whatnot from the community use the video that he made which you guys see in the background right now really really nice video and I'm, I'm gonna be sure to link the video and his channel in the description of this video um, I'm probably gonna continue using this even for the next tournament which I still haven't gotten to but we will after this once again really nice guy the video's gotten a lot of uh, good feedback in the past month or two that's been out and he has talent and he's gonna be making more um, he showed interest in maybe helping out with some of the things that I have in mind for you know the channel and tournaments. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, really nice guy. Show your support for him. Amazing video. Like the choreography is beautiful. It's uh, choreography or cho choreographed to uh, Imagine Dragons. What is the song? I can't remember the song at the tip of my tongue. It's by Imagine Dragons though. And it's just, it's really a work of art. If if you could submit videos that use copyrighted music to the Gram, or not the Grammys, but the uh, <laughs> the Saxies, he probably would have won with this video. It's just really nice. Um, but yeah, back to the other topics. We do have a new tournament coming up. It's being hosted by Rails Barlow, um, the cast who you guys have seen on this channel countless times. He's also one of the hosts of CCD3. But it is being hosted by him and Jacob. So they're going to be doing RBT2, which is pretty much the assist of uh, the really big tournament summer. Um, this is going to be the really big winter tournament. Or really big pro mod tournament um, winter. Some 
mix of those words. I never get those names right. I don't know, they're confusing me, but whatever. Um, it's, it should be a pretty good tournament. We're heading back to our, um, to our roots pretty much. There's not going to be any custom campaigns except for Hard Rain Downpour, which we still have to do the review for. Um, I should have done that quite a couple months ago, but I kind of disconnected from the community. But hopefully I can get Xeon to sit down with me and we can do a run through of the map for you guys. It follows pretty much the same route as the original Hard Rain. The only difference that you'll really see is on map 4, or map 3 I should say, on the way back, um, you kind of go a completely different way for quite a while, but it's really for the best. Because instead of backtracking the entire map, you know, this map kind of diverts from that original path of just backtracking through the whole level and it gives you a different route to go. So really nice map. I enjoy it. I think it's a lot better than the original Hard Rain. Um, no offense to devs or anything, but it... it it's just nice. You guys will see once we do the review of it, and uh, you guys start seeing the matches pump out with it. Um, what else is there? But yeah, RBT2 signups are open. I'll post a link in the video description down below for you guys and everything, so you guys can check that out. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, Rails did contact me. He wants me to um, come back and cast it. Uh, this is something I should talk about. Um, he did contact me to come back and you know he wants me to help cover it so I will most likely be doing that um, just gonna have to talk about a few other things and yeah um, I don't know if I should talk about this but I'm going to I don't know if this channel though is going to be what will be or this channel will be um, the one to be covering it um, and re I'm referencing that to my twitch channel and pretty much YouTube as well I might be putting the content and streaming to a different source. Um, it, we have to go do some more talks, I think, with the person that wants me to do this other thing. Um, if, it all, if all goes well, I will be switching the content for that tournament over to their Twitch channel and Left of the Nation, or not Left of the Nation, but um, YouTube. But once again, it's oh, it kind of just let up, but what, whatever. It's kind of, you know, I have to go talk to them about it. Hopefully it goes well and we'll see what happens. Um, it's not that something's gonna get kind of big. We okay, are RBT2. I'll let you guys know with another update where the uh, streams will be, where all the content will be put. And yeah, pretty much does that for RBT2. And then, a final topic I really want to touch on really fast is the new equipment. Um, I do have some new equipment coming from my setup, um, kind of a holiday present for myself. So I'm really excited about that. It's like $200 in equipment. Um, it's going to really upgrade the quality of the streams and whatnot because I would like to really, you know, keep pushing forward with the community. Um, once again, you guys have been really, really helpful with the messages and stuff you guys have been sending. You guys are pretty insane. Like, really, thank you. And also, we've received a few new donations. People, you know, trying to help out. They want me to come back. So, thank you. And uh, I will also be playing the games that you guys donated. <laughs> like, you guys have been absolutely insane. Thank you very much. Also, Twitch channel, we're still hanging around, I think it's 1,364 followers right now. We've grown in the past months, and I've barely streamed. I streamed like twice, and you guys, you know, still follow. It's pretty nice. You guys are an insane bunch of followers, really. Thank you. Um, and yeah, I'll have the new equipment here probably within the next couple weeks. Um, I'm trying to get it set up as soon as possible, and RBT2 is looking to kick off in the first week of January, so keep your eyes open for that, and once again, I will update you as to where the streams and YouTube uh, content will be uploaded. Um, if not this channel, there's really only one place it will be. Um, once again, I just have to go talk with them a couple more times, and yeah. So hopefully we have some new content coming out for you guys that is uh, you know, top-notch and whatnot. And yeah, hopefully you guys can wait a little bit longer for the content, maybe about a month at max. And I hope you guys, you know, have a good day. And really, thank you for the support, guys. You guys have been absolutely phenomenal. And the channels continue to grow, even though I'm doing nothing, really. Um, but yeah, really, thank you, guys. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.